Hello, my name is Manil Maske and I am a data scientist at the Earth Science Data Systems Program at NASA Headquarters. I wanted to quickly give you an overview of a variety of tools and services that will be of great interest to the participants of the Space Apps COVID-19 Challenge. NASA's Earth Science Data Systems Program is responsible for managing one of the world's largest collections of Earth observing data. NASA collects data to understand the Earth and its environment. The data that have been collected are made available to the public freely, which has enabled advanced research and applications for more than half a century. The Earth Science Data Systems Program has been also developing tools and services to provide better access to environmental information so that people can be more informed about their decisions. This is one of the things that I think is extremely relevant to the Space Apps Challenge. We need help from the community to take the complex data that we collect and develop ways to make informed decisions. We believe that the participants of this special Space Apps Challenge will be able to use this large volume of data and find innovative solutions to address the impacts of COVID-19. A big part of NASA Earth Sciences applications and technology development. Now we need your help so we can turn the challenging ideas into reality to study environmental, economic, and societal impacts of COVID-19 pandemic. Next, I would like to describe some of the key resources that are available uh, in, in your disposal to address these challenges. NASA's Earth Science website, Earth, uh, Earth Data website at earthdata.nasa.gov is the location to find all relevant resources to get started with the NASA Earth Science data. Let me start with one of the most popular tools that is available for, your, for all of you, and that is the NASA Worldview tool. This tool allows you to interactively browse over 900 global full resolution NASA Earth Science satellite image layers, and many of them are available within three hours of observation. While the Worldview provides a web-based map interface, the entire collection of images is also available using the Global Image Browse Services, or the GIVS. GIVS provides access through several image services. Additionally, GIVS also supports on-demand generation of Google Earth KML files, and script level access through libraries like Geospatial Data Abstraction Layer or commonly known as GDAP. Another key tool that is available is the Earth Data Search tool. Earth Data Search is a web application that helps you search, discover, visualize, and access Earth observation data made available by NASA and other interagency and international partners built on top of NASA's common metadata repository, or known as CMR, Earth, Earth Data Search allows users to search for data using a variety of parameters. Whether you know it specifically what Earth Science data collection you are interested in downloading or simply exploring all data for your apps, Earth Data Search is able to help you find what you need. You can either use the keyword search tool to find your specific data set or use a combination of spatial temporal selectors with facets in, in, in to, browse, uh, to browse through available collections. Another key component that is available is the CMR or Account Metadata Repository. CMR is a metadata registry that collects, uh, that catalogs all data and service metadata records. The metadata records describe NASA's Earth Science data as well as data from select other US and international agencies. CMR maintains hundreds of millions of metadata records. Clients can access this freely available metadata by leveraging APIs to perform keyword, spatial, temporal, and faceted search. The simple to use APIs allow clients to perform powerful searches in order to find exactly the data they are looking for. We also have the data pathfinders. These pathfinders help guide new users through the process of selecting data products and uh, using the data. 
data pathfinders provide direct links to commonly used data sets across NASA or science data collections, these pathfinders supplement the search capability by providing data sets through commonly used tools. These tools provide different ways of visualizing the data, options for subsetting the data, and options for saving the data in different file formats. We have now created special data pathfinders for COVID-19. We also have the NASA Earth Observatory, a curated collection of science stories with images. This can provide a great resource for participants as well. Well, that is the end of the brief uh, overview of key tools and services that are available for this challenge. Since 1994, our science data have been free and open to all users for any purpose. Earth Science Data Systems also supports the development of software and tools that add value to the Earth Science Data products, observations, and models. NASA seeks to further enable user communities by ensuring that the code for these software and tools is made freely available through open source software licensing. The Earth Science Data Systems open source policy makes it possible for internal and external collaborators, including the app developers, to provide code to those wishing to further investigate its capabilities. You can find source code for available tools at code.nasa.gov or github.com slash nasa. Now please join us in addressing this challenge with your innovative solutions. Thank you very much.